Hello everyone, I have no idea if this is going to make it online or not because my laptop is right now acting bonkers. So, if this does somehow come online and I actually choose to do it, which I think this one deserves to be told. This one deserves to be told in one second. Let me at least, oh yeah, it was Goodwill. That's the name of it. That was the name of the episode I saw today. So, and technically, three years ago, I actually wanted to do a video on this, on the previous Christmas episode of Haunted Hour. I really wanted to do it, but along the way, it got lost. Yeah, along the way, it kind of got lost. But anyways, oh well. So, you got this, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is just so unbelievable. I mean, I have so many things. So, for anyone who's easily upset or whatever or don't want to hear about politics and crap, you know, it's a good idea to turn this off and I'll see you in the next video if I'm able to actually pull off another video and this actually comes with one miracle. Well, anyways, let's get on to this. So, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is just so unbelievable. Okay, so the episode starts with a rich family. You have a mom, a dad, a brother, and a sister, a daughter, and a son. And along with that, you also have some yard workers. Yeah, a father and son yard workers. So what happens is basically the, the family, except minus the daughter, all are kind of, I won't say greedy, I won't say greedy because, yeah, then it doesn't seem like they're in a degree of greedy. I mean, they are greedy in strategy, or technically they have strategy of how to get what they want. But when it comes to greedy, not really. I don't see true greedy in them. The only thing that was messed up in the whole entire thing is that they don't donate to charity, or they don't basically go to the yard workers and say, Hey, how are you doing? You want a glass of lemonade? Which, that's what scolded them. Yeah, that's what scolded them. So, basically, the daughter invited the son, yeah, the son yard worker, to come inside, eat cookies and stuff. Which, yeah, he was about to take off his boots. Maybe his boots are muddy or something. I would love to see the part of where the boots were muddy and everything, and they have a maid, too. And the maid's like, oh, damn it! I just mopped his flow! What the <laughs> that would have been funny as hell. I would have enjoyed that. That would be funny as hell. And then it shows, oh, the daughter is very charitable, but she doesn't have feelings for the mop, the lady, the, the maid who just mopped up the floor. And now there's muddy tracks on the freaking floor. Congratulations. You, you, <laughs> you basically boosted up someone's emotions and you kind of screwed over the maid's emotions as well. And I guess you most likely she would say, I'll mop it up. But yeah, your family will basically, which she got scolded. That's what happened. She got quote unquote scolded. The fact of she got the yard boy, yard son to come inside. So basically they took her and said, hey, um, that's not a good idea. You know, yard workers don't belong in here, which I do have to admit that's kind of messed up. And I know for a fact of that's why they didn't cast for African American in the yard workers because then it would sound so racist it's not even funny. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's why they didn't get any Latinos <laughs> actors or any of the sort because it'll sound racist. It's like their kind don't deserve to be in our house, which that sounds very, very horrible, but yeah, I mean, I kind of, from a standpoint, can understand because these days, you know what happens? There are some people who actually come in there and steal crap, given that, yes, they most likely don't seem like the stealing type, but one thing can lead to another, you know, temptation can do some stuff. But anyways, yeah, so the daughter got scolded. They got the son to go back outside with the cookies and eating them. And, of course, did I mention that the gardener dad actually has a bad back now? Or he had worked too hard and overexerted himself? Yeah, so from the freaking roof, 
there's the freaking quote unquote angel. Yeah, the angel is looking from afar and up there on the roof. And the angel gets an idea of saying, Revenge! Vengeance! Which I'm like, yeah, yeah, let me just, I'll get to this point as soon as I finish this whole entire thing, which I guess this is called a review, but screw it. I'm just going to continue on. So what happens is that, which I guess this is foreshadowing, is the, well, first things first, is that they fire the yard dad and son. Yeah, the, the workers, the gardeners, they fire them. Yeah, the dad fires them because he's like, yeah, they shouldn't be familiar with the family. It never is the same. Which, I guess, yeah, I guess I can understand that. Just the fact of they could decide to slack off. They could try to squeeze in and get more money, quote unquote. But, yeah, I mean, I can kind of understand both points of it. But it's still the kind of part of... He has a good point, even though you're trying to make a good point, too. Let me continue on, shall we? So, what happens is that the Gartner guy, the Gartner son, he comes back with the plate. Yeah, with the plate that is owned by the rich family. And he also says that oh, some person whispered in my ear and crap and put this package or this present under my arm. And he's like, give it to your sister, which that's foreshadowing, apparently. And so he decided to give it to the only girl he knows, apparently. Yeah, so I guess the mom is dead, even though it's kind of like, but in the... So that kind of is a good idea, is that if the mom actually died, and yeah, the, the Gartner husband and the Gartner son, if they're the wife slash mom died, I guess I can even understand it even more to actually be like, yeah, it deserves, yeah, this deserves to be happening. So, well, anyways, it turns out that the present is none other than an ornament of some sort. It's an angel ornament. And she wanted to put it on a tree, but the family was like, yeah, no, 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 no. So she puts it in a room and says, yeah, I, no matter what they said, I think you are a fabulous piece or whatever. So they go to sleep, right? And then while they're asleep, the freaking angel decides to come in astral form and walk around the house and then start marking the mom and dad's room and then her brother's room. Of course, she sees her and she's like, oh my gosh, and starts running down the stairs. And then she sees her again and she faints right in front of the Christmas tree. So, with that happening, I don't know. I don't know what I really would expect from them. I don't really know what exactly to expect. So, you would figure maybe Santa Claus have something to do with this, or most likely ghosts or some kind of crap. But, no, it's, it's the same idea of they need to learn, but it's really, really harsh. So, what they decide to do, or what the angel decides to do, is just the fact of just making their existence not known to people. Making their existence erased. Just the fact of, I guess it's the princess and, prince and the pauper, but reversed and even worse. is the fact of, now, the rich family is the paupers, aka maybe the gardeners and such, while... The paupers, aka the, the gardeners, are actually the rich folk. And they get to have their house, the Donaldson's house. And, well, you know, it's a big showdown and crap. In fact, the, they had to call the police. And it turns out, yeah, joke's on them. And apparently there were gardeners and crap. And then, yeah, they have to rush on. Move it. <laughs> yeah, so they got forced to go into the wild quote unquote the fact that now they're in bum hood and <laughs> my goodness it's like oh my god it really is so lots of things happen in bum hood the first thing that happens is just the fact of just the fact of they went to bum town quote unquote bum town and well the first things first is that the the brother's hungry so the brother decides to steal 
I mean, technically, that's how some do it. I mean, yeah, I mean, there could be the whole we'll work for food or have a bowl or a cup and wait for someone to put money in there. But he's hungry now. So he decides to do what Aladdin does. And for people who are like, oh, my gosh, he's so sucky. He's a bad person. He actually was steal. Um, let's look back to Disney's Aladdin, shall we? Aladdin stole some food. And for us, it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, we can understand that. And yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, look at that. Aladdin actually stole food. Is he a bad guy? No, he was just surviving. That's what he's trying to do. It was surviving. So that's what's going on here is the fact that he tried to steal food and then the mom and dad tried to back him up. And while the girl notices the shiny glimmering as if the angel was back, quote unquote angel so she goes to her yeah the angel is just right over there quote unquote and he's like haven't they suffered enough haven't we suffered enough can you help us by any way and the angel which i would have loved it if they just would have showed the angel just throw the measly five dollars onto the floor but nah magically five dollars and she's like that's it five dollars so yeah she had no choice but to rush over there before police and crap comes yet again and she said she's my brother he's my brother he wasn't trying to steal here's the five dollars and then there you go so they get to have some time where they actually feel the hobo life yeah oh yeah let me not forget the fact of which i kind of say this is bull crap but i can understand aladdin did it yeah, yeah, this is kind of saving her grace here. Yeah, this is saving the daughter's grace. So, she, they had food, but they don't really have food for, like, every single day. They just have food that they could ration. But instead of allowing them to eat now, she took whatever food that was and gave it to the poor old lady and basically said, she needs it more than us. We just basically got in the cold for like a few minutes. We never felt hungry. So yeah, that's her excuse to say, yeah, we should give to the poor, even though you guys are the poor. You <laughs> one second, guys, one second. Let me just put a side note right here. I just saw the commercial for Sonic Boom for Cartoon Network. Holy crap, they still have the incredible crew near them. So apparently, I guess the Incredible Crew are on speed dial just in case, even though their show has been canceled. I think has been canceled. Oh, anyways, back to what we were doing here. Back to where we're going. So, okay, here we go. Here's how it goes. So, <laughs> she gives the food to the old lady and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and so basically, this is like a lecture session where she's like, yeah, there's many people out there that are hungry and starving and we were living very highly and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, the whole talk, you know, the whole talk thing. So, yeah, so eventually it comes to the point of where they are always asleep. She snuck out and saw the angel again. She's like, haven't they done, they suffered enough? Can we go back to where we were going? living and stuff so here is what i think well let me just tell you what happened so she does do 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 and guess what we're now back but this time <clears throughs> still the same thing <laughs> still the same thing so the rich mom is now nothing but the maid the rich brother and rich father are nothing but the gardeners and the gardeners are still the rich people but this time the rich the rich sister is now still the rich sister yeah this time she doesn't get downsized which is kind of like um stupid freaking angel quote unquote angel yeah i get you were you were able just to see up on the roof you weren't able to see inside the house but technically you should understand what's going on because someone had to give the freaking boy the cookies you dumb stupid piece of crap angel <laughs> quote unquote angel it's like someone had to give him the cookies you should have did more investigation to figure out which one is the good one instead of throwing all four of them down there so it's kind of like yeah but anyways, as you guys can see, the gardener 
now rich family actually give a bonus yeah it gave the bonus to the dad and for the son who's now the yeah the rich son now the gardener son he got a tablet yeah you, you actually gave him a tablet so it's kind of like what i mean what seriously so I guess technically I can understand what's happening is the fact of the rich folk, they most likely would never change their alternatives and motives and stuff. So instead of being like, let's give them harder and harder things until they realize, hmm, being charitable is very, very noble. Instead, you just decide to be like, ah, whatever. They're now going to be freaking cheap asses. <laughs> yeah, now they're going to live the same way that the gardeners live the same way as you did so that's basically the end that's the end of it the fact of now the daughter at least gets to live the good life and still gets to be charitable but guess what the angel wiped her memory the angel wiped her memory she wiped everyone's memory actually yeah everyone's memory's been wiped <laughs> what <laughs> what seriously <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So, well, basically, I the only person that is okay is basically the daughter. The daughter is still acting the same as she does, but just her memory's wiped. Her memory's freaking wiped clean. Is wiped. Gee whiz. I mean, oh my gosh. Okay, now we get to the real messed up part where I rant about this. There's many other families you could have targeted than this. Really? So they don't give to charity. For right now, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything dirty whatsoever. You have senators. You have governors. You have so many freaking damn people. You could have actually struck with your iron fist and make things right. What does this help? Yeah, so they give charity to some people, but what about all the millions of people who get screwed over by freaking politicians who embezzle money? Hmm? Stupid ass angel? Hmm? Hmm? You stupid ass angel? Really? You pick kind of like the small little percentage down there. I guess there's a big percentage, but whatever. But the percentage you chose out of, they don't give to charity. I can understand that. They don't give to the poor. I can understand that. Are they embezzling money from people? We don't see that crap. Are they basically making sure that Medicare, aka Obamacare, can be distributed among people? Are they freaking making sure that doesn't happen? Doesn't seem like it. So it's kind of the point of... You stupid angel. You stupid piece of crap, quote-unquote angel. You pick the crappiest of families to choose to actually make a point. Instead of being a hero, you could be a freaking damn hero. Take down a freaking politician family who does crap that I don't feel sorry for. Because the family you chose, they're just doing what they're doing, you know? They're not trying to freaking screw over people. They're just making a living. That's what they were doing. I mean, given, yes, yeah, technically, this is the worst thing. This is as messed up as the book, a Goosebumps book called Chicken Chicken. Just the fact of she turned kids into chicken because they don't remember to say thank you. Yeah, this is like the messed up equivalent to that book, which I would like to say thank you to the bookworm to actually do that video of the Goosebumps books because without him I wouldn't be able to actually say this is a big parallel to that freaking book of where the seriously that's the reason why you punish the freaking kids because they didn't say thank you or excuse me or help you pick up your freaking stuff yeah which I can freaking I can rant on that book too but no it's the episode I need to rant about so, you pick someone who's not really truly important. I mean, not really truly that important because if he was that important, then chances are a lot of people would be like, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, you have someone knocking on the door saying, please, sir, 
please allow Proposition 8 to pass so my wife can actually get medical surgery without making us pay buttloads of money and demanding us to pay lots of money for it or have the money. That would make sense. Yeah, you have someone who's like, there's so many people suffering out there and only you have the power to do it, but yet you actually make sure that it doesn't happen for some damn reason, which that makes sense. That family, that makes sense. But of course, technically only the father and plus the mega point here is just the fact of he changes mind. He understands what is power and what he, how affects, how he affects people and then you snap them back to reality. I mean, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. This is like the worst piece of crap episode I've ever seen. I mean, I enjoy Haunted Hour. I enjoy it a lot. But this one's the one where I actually will riot and say, Hell no. I mean, given this does help children to learn, you better be very, very grateful for what you have. And also, if you see someone who doesn't have... What they need is a good idea to go out there and give them a freaking soda pop or something, you know. Give them something to eat for the day, even though that doesn't actually help. I mean, like they say, you can teach, you can give a man a fish and he'll be satisfied. But if you teach the man how to fish, he will be able to satisfy him every single day. So it's kind of like, yeah, I mean... I don't really know on this one. This topic is really messed up, but still, I would just say on the behalf of there are families they could target that's even worse. They can. I mean, if they would have picked actually like a TV family, a TV family, a family that does an actual real, does actual real, you know, reality show. Yeah, and basically those guys most likely don't give a about anything. They don't give a darn. Yeah, pick people who actually are nasty as hell. They don't even have to look at a freaking have a script for them because that's how they act. Now that makes sense. I can understand that. I can understand that completely. But when it comes to like this, yeah, I mean. There's also Red Dress, that episode that was like in the first season. But Red Dress, yeah, Red Dress does make me sad, but I'm okay with it now. Even though I still say, maybe I'll make a freaking rant about all of the, all of the, yeah, exactly. All of the Hunting Hour episodes that I don't like. Yeah, maybe I should make a rant about that. But, my gosh, man. I mean, it does help children to understand and learn. Yeah, that does help. But what about the freaking, the business kids, the rich kids that I'm talking about? The ones that have a dad that's very corrupt. Will they be able to connect the dots with this and that? Nope. Yeah, you need a big wake-up call. You need a big freaking wake-up call. You can't just do this one because this... So you have to give charity to the poor. That makes sense. Oh, and I forgot about the main topic on this. So the gardener, as you can see, even though I already explained, yeah, they can't put other races in there because some of the lines that they say can be seen racist if they put different ethnicities, actors in the gardener's shoes. But still, though, you didn't see him have illegal immigrants working on this crap yeah you didn't have legal immigrants cutting the grass and all the other stuff because illegal immigrants like you guys know some of them work for measly nothing at all so it's kind of like the point of there are some families out there who are worse than them who actually have freaking illegal immigrants working for them and what they pay them is maybe pennies or dimes or maybe a dollar instead of actually paying them for what would most likely be something that they deserve. Like, for instance, the gardener. Yeah, the gardener I have, we pay him 40 65 You know, 
see you see how much that is while you have legal immigrants who paid super less maybe yeah less than that like maybe ten dollars if they're lucky so it's kind of like you see what they're doing to take advantage of them what are these guys doing what is the freaking family in this video doing they actually hired people who most likely are American, chances are are American, to do their yard. Not illegal immigrants like many other families do. Rich families do. I mean, chances are there's... But still, there are some families out there who actually hire illegal immigrants and actually just pay them a penny or something. You see? Being very, very messed up instead of actually paying for them full worth of what the work he did. I mean, seriously, though. You see how messed up that is? That kind of makes some horrible crap right there. And, yeah, I mean, if they would have done that concept, the fact that they did hire an illegal immigrant, and the illegal immigrant actually said, cow some water. And what's worse is that the daughter gave him water, but the mom slapped the water out of the daughter's hand and said, no, 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 get back to work. Now, that makes sense. Now, that family deserves to get punished. That family deserves to get punished. This family that they chose, technically, it should be like a walk in their shoes. Yeah, get the hobo lifestyle, then they get to come back and they're like, you know what, honey? I got an epiphany. Or I had a weird dream. And then they see, yeah, maybe have the freaking quote-unquote angel intimidate them before they could wake up so as soon as they see the angel like oh my gosh it's not a dream it's not a dream all right we need to do some donations and charities so basically what they do is go to stores buy crap and then go to a soup kitchen and serve there and they actually from that learn yeah they learn instead you just basically said get they just become now they become the gardeners and the maid instead of getting back to their original point of view and not only that but you wipe their memories yeah well anyways if this does make it hip hip hurrah hurray. if it doesn't make it well yeah computer laptop thing well anyways anyways happy holidays and I will be back for more and it depends on how well it stays up this is kind of like being Tommy the Green Ranger right now <clears throat> the second season the fact of it's like he has power and then eventually it's like my powers they're failing me ah so yeah stay tuned and like i said in the previous three videos this might be a wild ride slash you might get more of that so thank you for watching and tell me what you guys think